Thousands of North Texas high school students are preparing for graduation, but for five very special students in Keller, crossing the stage is a major milestone. They are quintuplets. It wasn't easy to raise them, but the seeds their parents planted are about to produce fruit. So, who's the smartest? A uh, yeah. few things in life. <laughs> When's your birthday? July 14, 1996. <laughs> are more natural. Where were you born? Houston, Texas. <laughs> Then a bond shared by multiples. How old are you? 17. 17. Sometimes we do read each other's mind. I mean, I don't know, sometimes we have the same dream, and we're like, oh my goodness, that's, <laughs> that's weird. I kind of had the same dream. Just minutes apart in birth. The age difference between us is like 30 seconds between each of us, and then like from me to Maria, there's, it's about three minutes. From left to right, Maria, Emilio, John, George, and big sister, by 30 seconds, Anna, were the first set of quintuplets born in Houston. They've been North Texans most of their lives. It's just usually the same questions at first. You're like, oh my goodness, do you guys all look alike? Do you guys all think alike? Yeah. Uh, do you guys have twin telepathy? Like... They don't think alike all the time, but it's close. I feel like there is a bond between us. Um, well, like, for one example, like, Emilio and I, like, first set up the same song one time. I mean, I don't know. In this family, dinners have always been crowded, space limited, and sharing required. Like, the same room, <laughs> same bathroom. Um, cars? Yeah, we share the same cars. They even share the same friends and compete in the same sports. There's not much the quintuplets do alone. Well, we take showers to kind of, like, separately, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's been an unusual ride raising Quince, starting with their births. The first time mom got to see her babies wasn't in person, but in her hospital bed watching TV. I turned on the TV and you know, the Dias put up blah, blah, blah. I said, oh my gosh, those are my kids. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. And I start crying and crying. Time goes very fast. Well, hopefully it'll be fun. Clip on, George. In the blink of an eye, it's graduation time. In a few hours, they will all be at prom. It's like very chaotic in the house because there's like a lot of people running around. <laughs> Most kids wouldn't even consider going to prom with their brother or sister. You can put your arm around your sister. For these siblings, it's the only way they roll. Now we go in together. Yep, and we pretty much stick together once we're in the house. The quintuplets are a tight-knit group, and if you think they want to separate for college, think again. I want to major in business marketing. Already in mean green attire, the quintuplets plan to go to the University of North Texas. With money tight, they've applied for grants, financial aid, and scholarships. They are, they're very good kids, very good, because we're very proud of them. So seriously, how long can they stick together? We haven't really thought about what it's going to be like without them. when we're married. What binds these five together is something most of us will never comprehend. Life is good, really. But for them, it's all they know. Wow, you know, we always see them on the end when, they, when they're first born, but never really see that's them. A, that's a neat story yeah. right there. Really yeah. is, and, and I'm just really keeping my fingers crossed for them. They, they get the scholarships, the financial aid, and the grants that they need. Guess who went to the University of North Texas? Yeah, so, yeah, so. <laughs> Go Ming Green. Yeah, good. So I wonder, so what, you know, where the cameras are on, do they really just file, single file? Them Everywhere, and them yes. Really? It's unbelievable. They're all, and they're always in their same order, too. Wow. I'm just embarrassed. I mean, I just <laughs> fought my brothers to, just to get up to the sloppy Joe mix or whatever that was. Okay. Uh, it's been a cool day. To, it's been a beautiful day, hasn't it? We